All right, welcome back to stream number four of my Tiles Principle 2 Let's Play. And last time out, we were in E3, and we are currently, we've, right, let me rephrase that, we've kind of done all the mandatory puzzles, the, the one to eight puzzles. We are now working on one of our hidden puzzles, or one of the extra puzzles, and we're also still going to be uh, looking out for the lab as well as trying to work out these last two stars. So, um, yeah, we're going to be doing a bit of adventuring today, see what we can find. But uh, hopefully we can get this area done and move on to the next, just like the last bits that we need to pick up on the eastern areas. And, uh, yeah, sad news that E3 has been permanently cancelled. Um, but I can kind of understand why, because I think in recent years games companies have just been kind of doing their own thing haven't they and like running their own conferences so i think that's kind of a reason for almost killing e3 but all right so we are like i say we're going to be looking for the lost lab in this area so i don't know really where, where to start with that This is the Golden Gate area. That's one of the hidden puzzles over there. Star puzzles, sorry. Not the hidden puzzles. And this is obviously the central area where we need to build our Petrominos. Did I remember the pronunciation right? I can't remember. The fact that I can't remember probably says screams to me that I didn't remember the pronunciation right. That Trump knows pizza. <laughs> Do I remember a conversation about pizza. question is though if I were a lost lab where would I be where would I be a little bit off the beaten track I'm sure things sneakily in this level. Okay. The nasty shade of tangerine. I try to be not so tangeriney. So I thought we'd like pretty much explored the entirety of like this area, but we haven't found we found sorry, we found neither the hidden lab or the extra puzzle here. And then also we've still got to work out the um the well, one of the stars was like that head, wasn't there? Which we kind of didn't... I, I kind of feel like there's a location that that's marking out, but I'm, I can't say 100% for sure that's what it is. That was just my initial gut feeling on that. Oh, hey, that's a good point. I 
mean, that kind of sounds like a flame, right? It released the OST, but it doesn't include all the songs. That kind of seems a little bit weird. Looking at like this a little bit closer, I kind of wonder if, like, this is water. Obviously, this is water here. So I kind of, I was like looking at it before where this is um, actually part of the cliff or the higher ground. But I'm starting to think that maybe actually it's the other side of some water. I'm going to take a theme screenshot of that. Let's go up first. Welcome along. Good to see you. Um, you. Uh, with Steam, and you. Pin screenshots to the green light you can with some of the text. Does anybody know? I think it should. You know, weird stuff. I can't remember how to do the text like version of it to be fair, so Yeah, I guess I could add the screenshot to the OBS scene, but I just kinda wanted it to kinda like be there. For, like my reference as well like right in front of me but it's fine i'll just carry on doing what we're doing here okay so I, i'm wondering whether or not there's you okay there mr fox yeah There's another fox. It's a fox. I wonder if there was... Um, so to finish my train of thought there, I wondered if there was like another... Um, something else in that maze, but I don't believe there is. So that's the puzzle there. Oh, there's something to talk to over here. Iron's got some stuff for us to talk about. Hey there, one k We made two fatal mistakes in New Alexandria. One was trusting the texts of our ancestors without thinking for ourselves. The other was giving up instead of doubling down, letting the tragedy define our future. It's not really much more to take on there. This is, um, looks rather suspicious. This Byron is, um, investigating it. What's this? Was I have already completed clearly? Okay.
let's head back over to here where there's uh, one of the stars. Feels like there's a lot more interesting structures here. Um. Um. Well then. blows what can I do for you you make a Pandora it's pretty clear to me that she doesn't want us to proceed with what we're doing I find that deeply concerning that said, there are clearly other forces at play here as well, so I'm trying my best to remain open to a more positive interpretation. Could be a test. It could be. Or we've just stumbled into something that's none of our business. We'll find out, I guess. So, let me head back out towards that star, I guess, where he was heading. Yeah, there's definitely like a lot of interesting structures here. I guess this is puzzle six. Given the way the number is really wrapping its valve around there. Now this is our green, we need her to emit or to enter our green um, laser into, so I'm guessing, given that it's the closest, number six is going to... the ability to make green from in here though, that's the thing. I think we do. Okay, so because we don't have the ability to make green here, we're going to then have to then green. Yeah, so I think we're going to have to send green across like we did in the previous area. Then wherever it goes to, I guess we'll just be redirecting possibly from in number six to there. Because I don't think we'll be able to see that laser from anywhere else at this point. Looking at like the position of this laser and where all the trials are. I can connect that now. We're at least got that connection made for later as and when we need it. I don't know if it was, I think it was there, was it? No. 
All right. Anyway, back to our uh, adventure quest. What's going on, Team Spen? How you doing? Good to see you. It's Star slash Hidden Puzzle slash Hidden Lab time. Yeah, so there. There's our... Uh... Okay, so... Let me go back to... I'm going to need to obviously connect it onto there as well. So let me just go and do that as well. Go back to number six. Assuming I'll be able to do that as well. It's very odd that they kind of like not included spe like specific songs of the soundtrack. Okay, so that's now all set up to do that. Uh, we'll come back to that once we have explored a little bit more. But that's got the base set up done at least. We just need to follow the path of that receiver there. And see where we can add on a green to it. So we're actually making our way over to here. This is like where that weird chessboard was, I think, if I remember rightly. Oh, no, that's not here. Okay. It's elsewhere. Oh, the chessboard is here. It doesn't look like there's anything to do. I feel like because like there's so much oh hello radiator device for generating heat unlike ourselves our ancestors could only survive in a limited spectrum of temperatures devices such as this one allow them to artificially create conditions that allow them to thrive this obviously haven't been over here Right. Four, isn't it? Or is this the station? Oh, that's the Golden Gate. Okay. Interesting that, like the music changes as you like go to certain areas of the map. I don't know if that kind of indicates anything.
Oh. You know what? I don't actually think that is... Maybe it's not water. Maybe it's just on the hillside here. Hello. I think we just unlocked as a star. Okay, well we found one thing at least. need to go and uh, collect that. I'm pretty sure I've been all the way around there. Huh? The water's too deep to get across anywhere there. Oh, really? I remember you saying uh, last time out, last week, that um, you'd it took you a while to find it and figure it out. No! Good job, there's no fall damage. Okay, so that ends there. So, I'm um, guessing Chamber 3, or Puzzle 3, possibly has a green laser that we could use here. So we got Oh wow. Well. I mean normally it helps if you Next to both colours, right? Alright, that should be both of our stars. Let's go and um, go and collect, shall we?
The wheel turns, but without the road, it cannot move. The wheel turns, but without the road, it cannot move. Interesting. Down the slide. Idols are worshipped not because they are idols, but because they are false. True idols are rejected because the truth is feared. So. Where might we find what we are looking for? Do you think what is the person who to trust in the game? So who do I think we need to trust? I don't know. Because the the founder, um I'm not really sure what to make of Athena because um like she kind of set out all these instructions to create 1k in, in bits and pieces then almost seemingly disappeared so i'm not really sure like what's going on at the minute with all of this like with this island like who's responsible for it and who's behind it so i think there's a lot more questions at the minute than there are any answers so i don't particularly want to answer anything at the minute I don't feel like I know enough about everything that's going on. The risk of sounding like giving a cop-out answer. Interesting looking structure over here I saw from the distance, which... Probably just that. Interesting looking structure. Which is LB kind of mentioned earlier on. There seems to be like a lot of books in E3. The only place I haven't like really looked a lot around is the like this area, but I doubt very much they would have hidden something here. I'm gonna complete the um Petromino puzzle. I'm 
just thinking that possibly that potentially they could have Sorry, I'm not being very articulate at the minute. Um, I'm kind of wondering whether or not they have just put something over here potentially. Worth a look, right? I also wondered if, like, I could get a better view of things from over here. If I could get a bit of height, possibly, but I'm not sure there's much height to get from here. Let's head on up. At least um, progress the story a little bit before we do anything else. When the craftsman Daedalus was imprisoned in the very labyrinth he had created, his only solace was his son, Icarus. To escape their plight, he fashioned wings of feathers and wax. He warned his son to fly neither too high nor too low, but his son, enraptured by the freedom of flight, flew too close to the sun. Thus the wax in his wings melted, and he fell to his death. What was the son's error? You see, the wings were made from wax. I mean, come on. Um, I don't know. It's either disobedience, imp impatience, or carelessness. Possibly not carelessness. I mean, well, they need, I, I would say probably impatience. What matters the substance of his wings if the sky was not meant for him? After the death of his son, Daedalus withdrew in sorrow to a foreign land. King Minos came looking for the craftsman to exact his revenge. The answer to a riddle revealed where Daedalus dwelled, but for Minos, that answer was his ruin. Consider King Minos burned in his bath as you seek your own answer. The mega structure, it's opening. Three receivers, three towers, three beams, as we suspected. I think this is an invitation. Doesn't look that inviting to me. 
If you consider the size of the entire structure, then that opening must be big enough to drive a building through. Oh, the veto. You want us to go in there, into the creepy triangular Maw of Death. Maw of Death? I think it looks charming. Byron's right. We're here to explore, and this is a mystery worth investigating. This technology could change everything. Oh, all right. I'm not winning this, am I? Nope. Let's meet up with the VTOL, everybody. We're going in. We're going in. Not before we have uh, another scout around for the missing stuff. That Oliver, is that the guy you were talking about last uh, the week? The um, rocket, is it a rocket scientist guy? Astrophysicist, I think, wasn't it? Actually. sneaky here and like put the lost lab in the middle beneath the central place where we actually need to finish everything I guess not Crazy. Have I done that puzzle? Yes, it's the one with the weird floating cube, isn't it? I really feel that like there's deep like, the difficulty with this area and finding stuff is because of the the trees. This they've really kind of like added a lot of trees to kind of not necessarily obscure your vision and what you're doing, but kind of like make it really difficult to kind of see too far in front of you. But if the trees weren't here, it'd be like really obvious. As to, it'd be really sorry, not obvious, but really easy to find. Where this, uh, these bits and pieces are. Uh, possibly not, LB. So you're saying I should stick to the paths. Answer the question about the labs, though, does it? It's the thing.
Oh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so every time I'd approach this structure, I'd come in from this angle. Completely, yeah. Uh, okay. Every site we've investigated has had one of these labs, but they seem primitive compared to some of the technology we're seeing above ground. Are we even sure that the labs and the puzzles belong to the same people? There seems to be a connection between the experimental setups in the labs and some of the puzzle technology. Correlation does not necessarily imply causation, though. True. But just because we don't understand the connection, that doesn't mean it's not there. What we have here is two things that reflect each other. We just don't understand how that reflection works or what causes it. Maybe Miranda can tell us. Oh. This looks like the, uh, the anti-gravity thing that we saw in some of the early screenshots earlier on in the year. End draft. After a lifetime dedicated to the written world, I'm faced with a task I could never have expected, writing an ep epitaph, not only for one for myself, but for my species. In the unlikely event that Alexandria, Alexandra Drennan is successful, and one day someone reads this, what meaningful insights can I share into this strange phenomenon that is humanity? I spent days thinking about it, but now I'm running out of time, so I'll set down the one thought that I simply can't shake. It didn't have to be this way. With more time, we could have found a cure. With a few political victories, we could have been prepared. Change any factor, even by a little, and we wouldn't, we wouldn't have made it. This isn't divine punishment, it's just dumb luck. I'm reaching for something here, but I don't know what it is. Forgiveness? Grace? Acceptance? No, I hate the idea of accepting this. Hope, maybe. I feel this story is unfinished. Maybe it should be. No epitaphs for humanity. I pray Drennan is right. It didn't have to be this way. Yes, it was. Failed to load comments. You're on. From 51 Tales by Lord Dun Dunsany. Don't lean forward and, and rode. Rode or rowed? Rowed. All things were worn with his weariness. It was not within. It was not with him a matter of years of, or of centuries, but of wide floods of time and an old heaviness in, in and a pain in the arms that had become him for him part of the scheme that the gods had made, and was only a piece of peace with eternity. If the gods had even sent him contrary wind, it would have divided all time into his memory, in, all time in his memory into two equal slabs. So grey were all things. So grey were all things where he was that if any radiance lingered a moment about among the dead, on the face of such queen, perhaps as Cleopatra, his eyes could not have perceived it. It was strange that the dead nowadays were coming in such coming in such numbers. They were coming in thousands, where they used to come in fifties. It was neither Sharon's duty nor his want to ponder in his grey soul why these things meant to be. Sharon leaned forward and rowed. Is it rowed or rowed? I'm sure it's rowed. Rowed. Then no one came for a while, but it was not it was not usual for the gods to send no one down to earth for such a space but the gods knew best then one man came alone and the little shade sat, sat shivering on a lonely beach and the great boat pushed off only one passenger the god, gods know best and the great and weary Sharon rode on and, bis, and on beside the little silent shivering ghost and the sound of their rivers was like a mighty sigh of grief in the beginning grief in the beginning had sighted among her sisters and that could not die like the echoes of human sorrow failing on the hills but was as old as time and the pain in Sharon's arms then the boat from the slow grey river loomed up the coast of Diz and the little silent shade still shivering stepped to shore Sharon turned the boat to go wearily back in, back to the world then the little shadow spoke that had been, that had been a man I am the last, he said. No one had ever made Sharon smile before. No one before had ever made him weep. 
There is an obvious and perhaps intended interpretation that this is the end of humanity. And the last shadow is the last human to live. But another interpretation is equally possible. Humanity was achieved, has achieved immortality, and the last shadow is the last human to die. I prefer the latter. As I mentioned last week, I really hate kind of reading those philosophical passages. I just don't seem to be able to get a very cohesive way of reading them. So I apologize. It's a bit Googled. Uh, Googled. I've LP's sort of comments about Google and said Googled. I prefer it's a bit like, I apologize. It's a bit like jar, jumbled and jargled. And yeah. I think it's pronounced Charon. Okay. Charon. The main project four. Um, same project as Tile One Eight. Cute little calculation, same result. Weird. Again, I'm sure if we uh, put some decoding here, we'd um, find out probably a little bit more. Experiment modified to gain further insights into an expected area. Inconsistent results. Simultaneous trials affecting each other by an unknown mechanism. What is going on here? Yeah, I can relate to that, LB. Reading has never been, unfortunately, one of my strong points. But I have started to do a bit of reading. Been uh, slowly working my way through the uh, Harry, Harry Potter books that uh, I have laying around my house, actually. I've, Finish the first three books, which is like completely. So it's really something I like never ever do. I never read. I'm such a. I feel like I'm such a slow reader. It's very difficult for me to. I feel it's very difficult for me to read stuff. But I've been persevering. We're going to stick to the paths and see what we find. That's what we're going to do. feel there as well like I, I read something and I just yeah can't understand or, or can't go back I, I don't I feel like I don't know what I've read like you just kind of said there that one didn't I guess I think for me that's in the, probably another reason why I've been kind of like burned off from reading in the past makes it unenjoyable to a degree. Check whether there were any paths like off here. Doesn't seem like there are any paths around here. Alcatraz. Is it a case that the meds kind of like help you to almost focus more, LB, or?
Oh, okay. Running around in circles. That means I've walked past it at some point then, and not realised. Well, I'll be. I wonder at what point I walked past this then. Must be here. this one down and then we can head back let's have a look see what we've got to do here we've got an inverter We see anything from here that would make it worthwhile doing this. So we might need this at a later stage when we've got the blue. We've got access to this area here via the blue. I wonder if that activates both this and this. Okay, well, for the time being, that doesn't do much for us there, does it? So, I'm thinking... ideal situation would be to do that right so okay if I could do that open this here. Cool. And cancel those. 
repurpose that like that. Oh, yes. We just need to bring that out, right? Is there actually any point or purpose to us putting that in there? I don't know that there is. Another knock gate there as well. Okay, I think we take the la now we take the laser through this wall here. Okay. We have to take this one for now. work here. Take this. And... Yeah, there we go. We instead, we like that through there. And then we repurpose this one. That's interesting. I hadn't really taken much notice about these puzzles once you'd already done all eight in the area that you would need to do. Kind of gives you a star rather than a little lift kind of thing. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting. So, all right, I think we're ready to head on back. Now, of course, we haven't actually found any of the um, Prometheus shards in this is something we will keep note of. Um, but for now... Oh, do they really? Okay. That's clearly something I hadn't taken note of. Bad. All right, let's take the most convoluted path back to our transport. And we will head back to the center area and back to the VTOL. Let's go. Talking, no dialogue. 